Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to share with you some of the things that I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Um, these are uh, things that I picked up uh, before the sale uh, went public. If you are a Nordstrom car holder, you can uh, start shopping uh, from the Nordstrom anniversary sale before uh, the public uh, has the opportunity to do so. So these are the things that I picked up first and uh, there are other things that I pick up uh, after the sales, um, anniversary sales started uh, to go public. So uh, those things, I'm still uh, waiting for them. Uh, when you order from Nordstrom, uh, you probably will get uh, things in different shipments. I'm still waiting for some other items. So I will do a second video. So this is my Nordstrom anniversary haul part one and there will be a part two and uh, hopefully I will film it either this uh, weekend if I receive all the items or uh, next week and uh, hopefully it will be up on my channel next week. I'm filming on a Thursday so I'm gonna try to upload today uh, so that this video will go uh, public tomorrow on my channel. I'm gonna try my best to do that so um, let's start with the haul. I just wanted to do this as soon as possible because I know that some of you are interested in the things that are on sale right now. Uh, Nordstrom is having a huge sale, the, the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's their um, biggest sale of the year, although throughout the year they have other sales. This sale, the particularity of it is that these are all items that are new. These are new releases. Some of the uh, beauty items are just uh, limited edition created for this um, sale uh, or for Nordstrom in particular. So um, these are things, some of them, that you will not get uh, in other places. Um, I have three beauty items and two fashion items, okay? Let's start with the beauty items first, okay? And I'm super excited to show you this uh, palettes. These are um, Chic and Eye palettes from Lorac. And these are limited edition palettes that were released for this uh, Nordstrom anniversary sale. And uh, these palettes are absolutely wonderful and they are a steal. Okay, uh, the palettes, uh, they said uh, in the um, information that the palettes uh, have a value of $30 and the, they are, uh, the price right now for the anniversary sale, it's only $18. But let me tell you something, Lorac palettes uh, most, uh, mostly sell for around $42. So I would say these palettes are around that price to me. These are not a small palettes. Lorac sometimes offers small palettes for, let's say, the Ulta uh, beauty events. Uh, for $15 because I have uh, purchased uh, maybe three of them and but they are all uh, like eye palettes, small ones. And these are only $18 and they have three chic products and six eyeshadows. So let me start by showing you, there are two, okay? These are the two palettes. Uh, look how beautiful, first of all, the packaging. It's absolutely beautiful. This on the top, it's called uh, Refined Romance. And the one at the bottom, it's called Enchanting Elegance. Okay, so let's start with the Refined Romance. This is the outer packaging and the inside packaging. It's gonna look um, mostly the same with the same flowers. It's black with the uh, light pink flowers and it says Lorac, okay. This is a bag and it's, you know, like cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure, okay? And it comes with a mirror and it has six shadows, all in neutral um, colors, as you can see, look how beautiful. And these are your three chic products. Okay, they are calling this uh, blush and these two uh, highlights. They don't have any names, they just, uh, you can see on the back of the packaging, these are the uh, eyeshadows and the uh, cheek products, and they are called just blush, highlight one, and highlight two. And the eyeshadows, I think they don't have any names. So the eyeshadows, these two are matte, and these four are shimmers, okay? 
um, I would say that this is more of a, these two are more shimmers and the other two are more like satiny kind of finish. Um, and then um, this is a highlight and this is another highlight and this is the blush. Let me show you up close so you can have a better look. I'm gonna give you some swatches. And um, I was thinking about uh, maybe doing a review on these two palettes and comparing them both. Uh, but I would say that, uh, I'm gonna show you the, the other one of course, but I would say that if you have fur skin, I would recommend this one to you because of the uh, cheek products. The uh, other part, you will see that the blush, it's uh, much darker than this one. This is more of a neutral, kind of a pinky, nudie, peachy kind of shade, which is actually uh, a very uh, universal shade. Let me show you. This is actually um, big pants and they have a, a decent amount of products. I believe each uh, cheek product is uh, 0.09 ounces. And the, um, the eyeshadows, I believe it's six eyeshadows in total, it's 0.22 ounces. And the two highlighters are 0.17 ounces. And the blush, it's uh, 0.09 ounces. So let me give you some swatches. Okay, this is the lightest highlight. This is the one in the middle. And this is the um, blush. Blush, middle highlight, and lightest highlight. So you can see beautiful colors. And I mean, if this is a, I mean, for me, I think it's gonna look good um, as a highlight. But if you are very fair and it's, this is the um, lightest highlight. And it's uh, like too dark for you, I don't think so, but if it is, uh, you can certainly uh, use this um, highlight, they call it highlight, but you can use it as a topper if it's uh, too dark for you. Beautiful. Now let me give you some swatches uh, from the eyeshadows. This is a matte. And this is a shimmer and this is like a satin so let me give you swatches of this three shades right here okay so these are the swatches of the uh, three eyeshadows that I showed you uh, they actually pretty pigmented and they are very soft to the touch but this uh, eyeshadows and cheek products are really of a good quality and uh, as you can see, the palette, it's its not a small palette, it's just a full-size palette. And uh, the, the uh, pan, the size of the pants are full-size pans. And as you can see, the size, the cheek products are pretty generous as well. So this is the first palette, and this is called in, uh, Refined Romance. Okay, and I'm gonna link everything that I find still available below. Okay, so this is the uh, second palette that I got. They released this, uh, both palettes for the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I got both for $18. I mean, you can go wrong. So this is called Enchanting Elegance. And this is uh, more of a darker tones, uh, more of a cool tone palette. The uh, other one was more of a warm tone neutral palette. Uh, this has more uh, darker shades, uh, has some blues and grays, uh, and then uh, the blush, it's uh, more darker than the, the one in the first palette. This packaging is so absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And then, back. And let me read you the quantities, the six eyeshadow palettes. It's again 0.22 ounces. Uh, the highlight here, uh, they call one of the chic products highlight and the other two blushes, but I will show you. Uh, the highlight, uh, it's uh, 0 0.08 ounces and the two blushes in total, they are combining the uh, weight of the two blushes, are 0 0.18 ounces. So a pretty generous amount of products. Again, has the 
have a nice mirror that it's very useful if you're on the go. So this is the palette and these are the eyeshadows and these are the chic products and as you can see this uh, blush it's more of a um, darker pink uh, shade. The other one was more of a nudie pinky peachy shade and I believe this blush will look absolutely gorgeous and darker skin tones and if you are fair and you will like uh, to order this palette anyway because you love it uh, I think you'll be fine just uh, remember to use a light hand when applying the blush because it's very it looks like it's very pigmented I haven't uh, swatched it yet but we'll see okay and these two are uh, this is called a blush this is called a blush but it's to me it's way too light to be called a blush maybe for someone who is very fair skin so this palette has four matte eyeshadows and two shimmers these four are matte and the ones in the middle are shimmers uh, the blushes also look like they have some kind of shine so I'm gonna swatch them to see uh, how shiny they These are. These are the swatches for the cheek products. This is the blush number one. This is the blush number two, which is in the middle, and this is the highlight product. As you can see, the blush in the middle, it's super light. And um, maybe for someone with furred skin, uh, this will be a, a blush. But for someone with, uh, let's say, um, medium tan, olive darker skin this will maybe be almost like a highlight or you can use it maybe as a blush topper and this is your highlight okay the shades in this uh, super light blush and the highlight are very similar to the other palette I'm gonna show you so that you can compare but the blushes you can see it's uh, like a dark pink shade it's very beautiful but it's very different from the uh, previous palette so now I'm going to give you swatches of these three eyeshadows. So this is shimmer and these two are matte and they feel super buttery to the touch. Like the uh, Lorac eyeshadows are super, super soft. And as you can see, they have great color payoffs. So, and if you want to order them before they sell out, you have the opportunity to do so. Okay, so, so again, this is the Lorac Enchanting Elegance palette. This has uh, four matte eyeshadows and two shimmers, and these are two blushes and one um, highlight. Let me compare it now with the uh, Refined Romance, which is the first one I have show you uh, that has the uh, light pink flowers, so that you can make the comparison. And if you want to just get one, just so that you can have, um, you know, a better look. Uh, comparing both of them and that you can make a decision Okay, so these are both palettes of clothes uh, The one on the bottom is the enchanting uh, Enchanting elegance and the one on the top it's uh, Refined romance both are absolutely beautiful uh, beautiful shades um, great color payoff soft to the touch uh, so we'll see how they perform but for $18 per palette this is a steal and I will recommend that you get uh, either or if you can get both both of them because they are really a deal Let's move on to uh, the third uh, beauty item that I'm going to show you and this is from Sigma and I believe this is also a deal And this is a brush uh, This set comes with a brush. It's a flat uh, brush uh, from um, is the F80 flat kabuki brush from Sigma and it comes with the Spa Express Brush Cleaning Mat. Okay. And I was thinking about getting the cleaning mat for quite some time. This is this set, okay? 
and you get the set for $34.50. You can see the price here, and it says that it has a value of $49. And I thought this, is a, this was a great deal. I was thinking about getting this uh, cleaning mat for quite some time, and I, when I saw this kit available, I said, you know, I think it's, it's a time to get it. I don't have this brush. Actually, I do have another brush. Uh, from Sigma that I used to apply my foundation, but I don't have this specific brush and I know that this brush uh, It's a cult favorite. Uh, it's a brush that it's uh, super well known here in the uh, YouTube beauty community and uh, it, 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 It's known to uh, apply the um, Foundation and cream products evenly um, so I know that I'm gonna be happy with that brush and I actually think that this uh, cleaning mat, it's super convenient to clean all your brushes. Um, I'm trying to open this uh, because um, it's super easy. You just stick it in your sink. Um, it has some uh, suctions and then you just, uh, you know, swirl the brushes with uh, your uh, uh, cleaning uh, um, liquid or soap or whatever you use to clean your brushes and then you swirl it around the uh, mat. Okay, so this is the kit. This is how it looks like and here you have your brush and it is, this is a full size brush. It is not a travel brush or you know just a small brush. It's a full size Kabuki, Kabuki F80 flat brush. And this is the Sigma Spa Express brush cleaning mat. And I believe uh, the mat is actually a um, smaller size. I believe there is a bigger cleaning mat than this one, but I believe this size is perfectly fine. And you don't need uh, a huge mat to... Um... Okay, so this is packaging and it shows you right here how you um, stick it in your um, sink and then you swirl the brushes let me show you up close you see sort of uh, all the brushes uh, the mat has uh, te different textures so you uh, they are for uh, different uh, types of uh, cleaning um, and uh, different types of brushes. I will show you in a minute. But I believe this uh, this is perfect size because if you don't have a big sink, this will actually fit on smaller sinks. So it comes with this like um, booklet. Let me show you so you can see. On the back, it has the suctions. You just stick it in your sink, and it has, as you can see, I hope that you are able to see the different textures. Let me show you up close. And all these different textures are for uh, different purposes uh, and different uh, kinds of brushes, okay? So you can see, it shows you here eye brushes, face brushes and they are all being cleaned in different uh, areas of the mat, uh, different textures. And it tells you brush cleaning how to. So it gives you like a guide on how to clean your brushes if you're not sure how to do it with the mat. But I believe it's super easy, uh, it's the perfect size. I know that there is a bigger size, but um, I believe this, size it's uh, $25 and the bigger size it's uh, $35 and the brush itself I believe this brush is $25 so um, I think this actually both these items are uh, $50 and you are getting it for $34.50 so I believe this is a great deal this are Sigma brushes are absolutely amazing they are made from uh, great quality and this mat, I'm super excited to use it. I actually 
have a very small sample that I receive uh, with one of my uh, Sigma purchases and I really like it. Uh, the material seems to be very sturdy and durable. So uh, we'll see how I like it. And this is a brush, okay? And as you can see, it's a full size brush. It's beautiful, it says Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 right there. Okay, and this is a brush. As you can see, it's flat. These are all synthetic um, bristles. And let's see from this side. So I'm super excited to try this brush and to try the mat, and I will uh, let you guys know how I like it. But if you have uh, thought about getting this uh, flat kabuki brush or the mat, I, I mean, this is a great deal right here. And this is a great set from a great company uh, that um, they have quality products. And uh, the good thing about Nordstrom is that if you don't like something or if you change your mind, they have the best returning policy. So you can uh, buy with a piece of mine. I'm super excited to show you my uh, fashion items. I have only two. I have more that I'm waiting for them to arrive. So uh, the first item that I'm going to show you, it's, um, it's a blazer, but it, it's not, uh, you know, your classic blazer and you're going to see why. I didn't want to take it out from this garment bag so that you were able to see how well packed it arrived. So this is how it came uh, like this, it's folded in a big box. So super well packed, so let's open it. Inside it came in a plastic bag, so double protection. Okay, and this is a blazer cape, okay? It's both things and I'm gonna show you. And this is from uh, Mural, or Mural. It's the brand. And this was not part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but this is something that I have on my cart for uh, quite some time, because I really love it. Um, I know that this one comes in black and white, and this is a print in black and white. I believe it has, uh, yes, it's more like an ivory white. It's not super white. So, super well packed, it's all has some tape right here, very well packed. So this is a blazer, and like I said, this is not part uh, of the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but it is actually on sale right now. Uh, I have it on my card uh, for quite some time, and I just, uh, you know, noticed that it went on sale, so I just went ahead and ordered it. Uh, this is a medium, and I'm usually a size. Uh, and blazers, I'm usually a size 8 or 6, it depends on how they fit. So this is how it fits, as you can see, it's uh, a blazer because it's you put it on as a blazer, but it doesn't have any sleeves, it's more like a cape, it fits like a cape, it's open, okay. Uh, I love it because of the uh, uniqueness of the piece. Uh, it's something that uh, will look absolutely beautiful with a turtle, a black turtleneck on, which actually I ordered one. I'm just waiting for it to arrive, that it's part of the uh, Nordstrom anniversary sale. Um, and uh, it's something that you can wear with a, just a simple uh, long sleeve t-shirt. It's something that I would wear, of course, not now, but uh, very soon uh, in early fall, you really can wear something like this. It's something that you can wear uh, to work if you work in a more uh, casual or artistic environment, um, it's, or if you are daring to wear this to a more uh, conservative environment or a business environment, it is perfectly fine. Uh, it's more unique and you know more. It's uh, to me, it's super chic. It's more avant-garde because of the design of the uh, print. So you can see it looks like strokes, but it's absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to uh, wear it and style it. So this is uh, my mural or mural uh, laser key. And I know this one comes also in white and black. I don't know if uh, they still available, but I, I prefer this one uh, because it was, you know, something unique. And last but not least, um, this is a pair of boots. 
and this is actually I have many boots but this is actually the pair of boots that I was missing in my closet um, and this is an over the knee boots okay I was actually looking for a pair of over the knee boots since last year but I couldn't find um, the perfect one and I think I just did okay this is from halogen okay and uh, they come in three colors black uh, gray it's like a light gray um, with a with kind of a taupey shade and also in burgundy and uh, let me show you and I got the black one uh, I thought that they were super super chic uh, beautiful elegant and in black you can go wrong they go with absolutely everything uh, this is genuine suede okay uh, this is not fabric and uh, these are actually on sale for almost a uh, hundred dollars off of their price and they have a kind of kind of a thick heel as you can see and I believe it's like three and a half inches okay and they have a zipper that it's uh, just up to here but they are actually pretty easy to go in and out this is the front this is the other side they are super 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 soft to the touch and they have an elastic on the back okay so that it's easy for you to flex your um, your legs and it's not uncomfortable okay and I'm gonna show you how they fit I would recommend if you are between uh, sizes or if you have white feet to go uh, up a size or at least half a size not a, a whole size but to size up at least half a size um, I actually um, tried them on uh, yesterday with a thin pair of socks and they fit fine I'm usually a nine and a half and I order a nine and a half since uh, they said that and the description uh, information they said that they run uh, true to size so I order my size which is nine and a half and they fit fine my feet are not narrow but they are uh, skinny okay I have skinny feet so if you have white feet um, or if you are in between sizes go up at least half a size so that you are sure that they will fit you they are super super soft to the touch uh, the suede it's beautiful they look actually super super expensive and uh, they feel actually pretty um, sturdy and pretty comfortable to have a high heel. I mean, it's three and a half inches, I believe. So I actually think these are the uh, perfect over the pair of boots. And I'm uh, pretty happy that I got them on such a great price. Um, I'm going to link them uh, below if they are still available. I know that uh, when I went to uh, buy, buy this, um, the burgundy uh, collar was sold out in at least in my size but i believe there's still um some sizes available in the burgundy also uh the grays were very popular but i believe the black ones uh were uh still available in almost every size okay so uh this is it for me this is my uh nordstrom anniversary sale haul part one okay so stay tuned for part two i also have all the recommendations of uh beauty items uh, that I did not um, order for myself but that I, I believe that they are super uh, great deal and that uh, you should not pass up and I will give you those recommendations on my next video since this video it's already super super long okay so uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I would really really appreciate that and also to share this video on my channel with your family and friends and to those uh, new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and for supporting me and watching my videos and i will see you all very soon on my next video bye bye